This is a tutorial on how to make Dave Churchill's starter bot automatically alleviate supply block on the Zerg race. The reason why this is necessary is because Zerg does not create buildings like Terran and Protoss do. So Zerg requires some special attention by morphing overlord units. This is not the only way to solve this problem, but it's a nice simple way to do so. So let me show the simple logic here. So here's the logic for making the overlords. First, there is some given condition that we need supply. This condition is given in the starter bot. Then number one action is to issue a command to morph an overlord, meeting this uh, supply need condition. But we need to double check whether an overlord is being morphed or not, because a drone morph can take precedence over the overlord morph. So number two action is to indicate that overlord is not being made if there are no overlords being morphed. And we repeatedly try to morph new overlords. When it's successfully morphing an overlord, we just wait for an event trigger. So that event trigger is basically on unit morph and the number three action is to check if previous count of overlords is smaller than the current number of overlords. If it's true, then we reset the previous count of overlords for next iteration. Okay, so with the logic explained, let me uh, start coding here. So first I will start by declaring a couple of variables in the starter bot header file. So first let me make a variable whether an overlord is being made or not called OV making and an integer over a variable for counting the number of overlords. And we start with one overlord at the beginning of the game, so we will start with one here. And I'm setting it in the header file so that uh, these two variables can be used in different uh, void classes. All right, <clears throat> those are the only two variables that we need. Then I will see, let's see here. Mm. Let's see. I think good place to do this would be to build additional supply. So train additional workers, build additional supply. So it's here. So this is the default code that is given. So this is the condition that was explained earlier. So if this condition is met, um, well, this is saying that, okay, if there's a new supply that is larger than two, then, or the, in, in the game, it's one. Um, it's two because they the way they count the supply is actually double. It's actually 400 max instead of 200 because of Zerglings. So one Zergling is considered uh, half a supply in game, but it's considered one supply here. So if there are, there is some room for supply, then don't run the rest of the code. But this rest of the code is basically just uh, only for Terran and Protoss anyway. So we will just remove this code. And then we will start by uh, with a for loop for getting the units first. So let me do this here. So essentially what this is doing is that, okay, for every unit that I own, iterate in this for statement with the variable u. It's like an i in normal cases. So 
if uh, and so basically it's cycling through every drone, every uh, larva, every overlord, every unit that you own. Um, I believe it also counts your hatchery as well. So if that unit is oops, a larva and that larva can train, let's see, an overlord. And of course, we have to make sure that the uh, overlord is not being made first. Then we can train, uh, we can issue this command. So we're basically issuing a uh, train command to this unit, which this unit is a larva, larva that can train overlord. Uh, we basically tell it to train an overlord. Then we say, okay, we should make sure that uh, we don't keep making the overlords again and again. So we say, okay, OV is being made right now. Oops, we spell check here. Okay, great. But, okay, we issue this command, but it could be that this command is, uh, let's say, interrupted, for lack of a better word, by train additional workers because to train additional supply and train additional workers, it takes a larva to do that, right? So, uh, training the drone can take precedence over training the overlord. So what we need to do is essentially, let's see, where is on frame? So every frame, we should check whether um, OV, making is actually true or not. So let me start by saying that uh, for floppy unit u again, same thing as before, for my own units. So loop over all of the units that I own. And if that particular unit that I'm iterating over is an egg and if that egg is build is um, not building uh, overlord then set this variable over over making to false. Oops, this uh, typo here. So if there are no eggs that are that is creating an overlord, reset the variable over making to false. So that should work overall. So this will basically go back and forth between over making. And then, no, you're, we're actually not making OV. So this, oops, let me copy. So this condition can be met and it can keep trying again and again. Now, we need to make sure that uh, whenever a new unit is completed, uh, like let's say a, it can be a drone, it can be a zergling, it can be a... Uh, where is on unit morph? Okay, whenever a unit is made, let's recount the number of overlords and compare it to previous count of overlords. So if you remember, we start with the OV count of one. So that's the previous count of overlords. So let me start here by saying if, okay, so when a unit is made, let's make sure that this completed unit oh 
uh, let's make sure that the number of overloads that I own right now is larger than the OV count that I currently have. Oops. If that is the case, if the number of overlords I own is bigger than the previous count of overlords, then reset the count of overlords by uh, this same thing here. We uh, set the previous count of overlords to current count of overlords, basically resetting it. So my colon here. And then make sure that uh, when this onion morph is um, com it, when it's triggered and overlord is basically made, this is what it's saying. If an overlord is made, then we are no longer making overlords. So this means that uh, you can only make one overlord at the same time using this function because if there are two different overlords being made, the first overlord will cancel out uh, the second overlord in a sense. Um, if the larva, if two larva are not available simultaneously. So let me just run this. Seems like I have an error here. Ah, so I need to do this. Let's see. Okay, now we have this here. Um, let's see. No. Okay, so this is Starcraft that's running. Looks like uh, Overlord is made here. Great. Let's see if it keeps going. I set the maximum supply, worker supply. Uh, by default, it's 20. But I increased that drastically. Just... Oh, wait. Maybe... I did not, but okay, this is 17 drones again, it, it may have been overlord before that drone died. So it is successfully creating new drones over and over again, which is good. So let's see if it works again. Drone, drone, drone. Drone Overlord at 9 out of 9. Drone, drone, drone. Drone again. Okay, you should create up until 20 drones, I believe. Yes, another Overlord is made. Seems to work. This is making more drones. Now it's 20, let's see. I guess it stops here. Yes, it adheres to the defaults. Thanks for watching.